it a highly dysfunctional family, although on the yes. surface it seemed like the American dream. Yes, of course, naturally, in our family, because we, that was always that facade up there, smiling in front of the cameras, but when we got home, it was totally different. It was an entirely different lifestyle at home. Well, what was it like at home? It was very, very hard. My father was very strict. Uh, he beat us. Well, when you say he beat you, did he spank you, whip you? I mean, what you had a talking? belt, you say in the book. But Belts, whips, whatever. My brothers were grown, and my father would take his fist and he would punch them and knock them down the steps constantly. Would they to this him? day, no, of course not. To this day, they are still afraid of my father, and they will tell you. They will come. They come to me. They say, "Well, Toya, we have kids in college, and we're afraid of my father still today." Mm. But my mother allowed this to go on, which makes it so bad. She, she didn't stop it. She too was an abuse victim, wasn't she? My Sometimes. mother. By my father, according yeah. to my brother, yes. According to Michael, he would tell me he would see my father beating my mother. I had never seen my father beat my mother. Yes. But I, he beats mm -hmm. all of us. So did this persist all through your childhood and continue into your young adulthood? Adult, everything. I mean, Michael was doing, um, I think it was Off the Wall Thriller, and he was still getting beat. But what you guys see is him up on the awards, accepting these awards, and smiling. And my father's chasing him around the house, and he's running from him, terrified. You said that Michael was the only one that actually tried to fight back and tried well, to hit your father. He was a little father. boy, yes. He was the only one. I don't think he knew exactly what he was doing. But the more he would get beat, he'd throw it back at him and throw a shoe. He would have to always get the last lick in, always. It's been the reaction back. of your family to this book. I have no idea. My parents, of course, they're denying it. And, of course, typical that they would deny it. Denial is the first sign of dysfunctional and abuse as well. However, outsiders have accepted the book. And they understand. They understand about the abuse. There wasn't just physical abuse. It was also mental abuse, which is very disturbing. And also sexual abuse as well. That you don't write about in the book. You allude to it, that your, your sister I really left. I touch it very lightly because it's a very touchy subject. And it's dealing with my sister. And I wasn't able to talk about myself just yet. You have to be ready to come out and talk about these things. And it, it's a very sad story because really is a wonderful person, I must say, and she left home at a very young age. She left home when she was, I think it was 16 years old. And the reason she left is because my father would get out of the bed with my mother and he would get in the bed with Reby. And my mother, my, Reby would ask my mother, please mother, get help for him. And she wouldn't, she would not. So Reby had to leave home. There were times, of course, when my mother would say, Joe, not tonight, leave her alone, let her rest. Don't get in the bed with her. And then Rebe called me and she said to me, she says, Latoya, I have a question I want to ask you. I said, what is it, Rebe? And she said, when I left home all these years, now this is just recent, all these years I wondered if Joseph ever sexually abused you the way he did me. Was it happening with you and Janet? And I couldn't answer her. And she says, please tell me. And I wouldn't. It's things that you don't talk about. And she says, Latoya, you have to tell me. And I said, Rebe, there are just certain things you don't talk about, isn't there? And she says, okay, I understand. And so, that's when she asked me about Janet. And I said, I don't know what happened to Janet. But well, what about you, LaToya? Did he sexually abuse yes, you? Yes, he did. Very badly, Do yes. you think he did Janet? I don't know. She's never spoken about it. I certainly hope he didn't. She has never spoken about it. My father, it began with me when Rebe left. And then it started with me. So when and did you what, decide that you were going to talk about it? You live with this all your life and you feel that you're doing something wrong and you're frightened when this is happening to you. And you're embarrassed. I have been embarrassed all my life to ever talk about it, to mention it. Shy, afraid that people can see through me and see that this is happening. You felt like your family was living a lie all these years. Well, they have been living a lie, definitely. But the disturbing and hurting part about it all is that my mother never did anything about it and i wanted her so badly to say latoya is he bothering you is he touching you did he touch you i would direct questions to her and throw them at her leaving it open so she could say latoya did he ever touch you why would she, she wouldn't. leave him then if that's if it's that's true, what ruby she... would always say mother and ruby would tell me i don't know why mother didn't leave him and you got to think sometimes i say is it because there are so many children no it wasn't that because after a while everybody was old enough You've never asked your mom that? Yes. What she is, has no answer to it. Is this the first time you've heard from no, her? No, I've, I've heard that letter before. There well, you have it. They're sending it out to everybody the, before Everybody you has this letter before I go on to show my parents in this letter out. Again, that's a sign of just wanting to deny everything. And it hurt so bad when I was on another program and my family, my, my parents actually, I should say, denied everything, everything. If they would just come out and speak out and tell the truth, 
it would help so many other people. And that's the reason for writing it. Um, I feel that I'm going to reach out and help other people who have been abused. Because you don't understand, but once you're abused, it affects you terribly. This goes on and on, and you live with it, and you live in shame. And you can't really speak out because you're afraid. And finally, you get courageous enough to do it. And then you do. And then you feel like the world's turning on you because you've been courageous? Yes, because you're doing it. Yes, it's like they don't want to hear it. But it exists, and you have to accept it. And don't be afraid to speak out if you're being abused. It's a terrible thing. That's